fun. English and Warriors, Harpy Brigade, and uh, some stuff I'm not quite sure what it is. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more excellent content. So the first list we have here, uh, this was 54th place out of the extravaganza this past weekend. And uh, I know it doesn't really mean a lot to a lot of people, but it's freaking Ancient Warrior Brigade. All right, like, think about that. You know how cool that is? So we have triple copies of Masterful Sun Mao. We got two copies of the Rebellious Lu Fang in here as well. I know a few people are like, well, no, you should play three Lu Fang. Two. All right, like, I think uh, trying to bulk down on uh, too much of this, you're going to just run into issues, and it's not even going to be worth it at that point in time with this guy, so keep that in mind. We also have the one copy of Alpha, the Master of Beast. Two copies of the ingenious Zoku Kong. Triple copies of the loyal Guan Yun. And then, of course, triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Oh, yeah. Huh. We also are playing Tri Brigade, which means we get access to the Barrier Statue. And uh, yeah, because we can just cheese on out the bird. Yep, I know where that's going. We also have triple copies in Nibiru. And then our Tri Brigade engine's relatively simple here. We have triple Frock Doll. Two copies of Karis, two kits, and triple copies of Nerval. Uh, you're not going to try to bulk down too heavy on this stuff. I mean, like, trying to play two, uh, three of these is whatever, so I don't think you want to go too heavy on that. Spells, we have the one called by the grave. Triple copies of Tanky, one Foolish Barrel, two Lightning Storm. Then we have two copies of Prosperity. Uh, the extra deck is essentially built for you to be able to resource this. I mean, you have so many two of You have, like, two... two uh, two two, so like you, you'll be able to pay the cost of your uh, prosperity very easily. Then we have triple imperm rounding up the main deck. I'm glad somebody's playing imperm out there. Then we have two copies of Tri Brigade Shrug the Ominous Omen, one Regal. Huh, he finally gets to see some play. Two copies of Frigget, two copies of Smorg, one El Mirage, one Link Karibo. One of the Desperate Doom Eagle, two copies of Harpy Conductor, two Double Dragon Lords, and one copy of the Access Code Machine. Side deck here we have Triple Ancia, one more Barrier Statue, one Dark Samorg, Triple Droll Knockbird, two Book of Moon, two Cosmic Cyclone, one Feather Duster, and two copies of the Crackle Down, wrapping up Ancient Warrior Brigade. Like I said, I, I know it's like on the back end of the seats, but like. How often do you get the chance to see Rogue actually doing well? So I wanted to show this for the concept, let players know that, hey, somebody's out there working on this concept, and they're having a little bit of fun with it, all right? Next up, we have Altergeist. Now, this got 20th place out of the UK extravaganza this past weekend, and to be honest with you, I, I, know, it's, I know it's Altergeist, and I know that uh, a lot of people are like, ugh, I don't want to see more of this. Guys, this deck is taking a back seat right now. This was the anti-meta deck of choice for how long? Like, and all of a sudden, we're back to at least seeing it getting a little bit of love right now. So, take that for what we get. So, we get one copy of Kunguri, triple copies of Marionette, triple copies of Melozik, uh, triple copies of Mr. Multifaker himself. Best card, by the way, in the entire deck. Two Zilguidos and Triple Copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Spells? <laughs> draw power, draw power, filter. Yay. All right, so we have two duality. Triple Prosperity. So we've forgotten the blind draw with the Extrav. That way we can just selectively pick what we want. Seems good to me. We have two copies of Manifestation, one Protocol, two copies of Anti Spell, one Imperial Warrior, Triple Imperm. Triple Personal Spoofing, two copies of Rivalry, all right, I see you. Two Solemn Judgment, two Solemn Strike, two copies of Tarantula. Extra deck on you, we have one Selene, one Relinquished Anima, one Ningrisu, two Link Karibo, one copy of Iria, one Artemis, one Prime Banshee, one copy of Kadolga, triple Hextia, two ac or one Access Code, one Makaba, and one copy of Anintis. I think uh, somebody, Forgot their uh, their big cool dragon.
for this, but all right. We have two gobbies, Lancey, a two drawn Lockbird, two Sphere Mode, two Earth Shattering Events, two Droplets, one Feather Duster, triple Lightning Storm, one copy of Solemn Judgment, and one copy of Psalm Steerike. Wrapping up a very, very straightforward version of Altergeist for you guys. Next up, so this was sent to me um, in my uh, Facebook page, MGL40, and it said, Hey, I've had some success with this deck online. He said, It's been a lot of fun. He's like, I've done all, well in online tournaments. I'm like, All right, we'll talk about this. All right, so this is. Uh, a dinosaur rank three go second deck with Neos Fusion. I don't know what else I'm supposed to say about that, but it's kind of interesting. So we have two copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring, one copy of Deskbot 001, two copies of Doggeron, two copies of Gamma Seal, triple copies of Ghost Bell and the Haunted Mansion, triple copies of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, two copies of Winter Cherries. One Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Triple copies of Gillosaurus, by the way. I mean, I guess this is a free extender. One copy of the Colt Wing. Triple copies of Psychic Wielder. One Rainbow Dark Dragon. Interesting to see that that's the card that we've chosen to go with here. One Conductor and one Elemental Hero, Neos. Got a few our big card. And we have two Double Evolution Bill. And we have two copies of Double Edged Sword. So you can only control one double-edged sword. The equipped monster gains 2,000 deck. Also, both players take any battle damage from attacks involving the equipped monster. If you take 2,000 or more battle damage, send this card to the graveyard. Just, this on a conductor makes me want to scream, actually. Uh, that, that <laughs> Actually, imagine a conductor running around with this. Like, how bad do you cry? Right? <laughs> and it's not your life points, it's our life points. We have one copy of Teleport, two Fossil Dig, two Kaiju Slumber, two Lightning Storm, two Neos Fusion, and one copy of Avarice. Traps have triple evenly matched, and two copies of TC Boo, wrapping up the main deck here. Next track, we have one Scare Garden, one Al Mirage, two Verte, one Aurora Dom, two Phoenix, one copy of Hulk, one Cherubini, one Bamboozling, one Phonon Pulse Dragon, that's interesting, one Herald, one Final Ligma, one Borload Savage, and one copy of Rainbow Neos. The side deck here, we have Triple Ancia, one Ghost Reaper, one Ghost Sister, two Nibiru, two Cosmic Cyclone, two copies of Dark Roller No More, one Lightning Storm, one Mystic Mine, and two copies of Mistake. Wrapping up, uh, yeah, this interesting contraption. I don't know what else to really say about this. Next up, we have Harpy Brigade. This has got 40th place out of the NA extravaganza this past weekend, which means mm -hmm, a little bit of fun for this bad boy here. So, Harpy Brigade, by the way. So, uh, we get to use our Harpy engine because they're all wing beast. All right. And, you know, we can combo up and do pretty standard shenanigans because of our Tri Brigade cards being the strong backbone. That our deck needs. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. One copy of Storm Winds. Two DD Crow. Triple copies of Perfumer. One copy of Apex Negate Man. Triple copies of Gamma. Triple copies of Froctal. Triple copies of Karis. One kit. Triple copies of Nerval. Then we have two bricks of two Harpy Lady and one driver. I'm really surprised we weren't playing Harpy Lady one, but alright. Spells, we have one Elegant Egotist, Triple Copies of Tangi, Triple Copies of Pot of Prosperity, one Rendezvous, Triple Copies of Unexpected Die. I guess this would make sense for us wanting to play this. We trade off uh, a little bit of consistency to be able to get the level 3 Wing Beast onto the field for all bits on the field. See how free that was? And then, of course, we have the reason why this deck is being good right now is the Feather Storm, being able to get the Negate for your opponent for free for a whole turn. And we also have two copies of Tri Brigade Shrug, the Ominous Whim. One Frigget, one Simorg, one Link Karibo, one Do the Desperate Doom Eagle Friend, one Harpy Conductor, one Daruma Doll, one Apollosa, one Double Dragon Lords, one Access Code, one Baguski, one Zeusy, one Abyss Dweller, and one copy of the uh, Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. Side so deck here we have Triple Anzia, two Skullmeister, triple Dark Ruler, 
one Feather Duster, two copies of Lightning Storm, one in Pure Order, one Red Reboot, and two copies of Solemn Judgment. Wrapping up your chunk of decks for this video. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more excellent content. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here, hopefully, later on for some more cool, awesome content. Peace out, guys. Have a good rest of your Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Trouble Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.